Due to hugely popular demand and millions of people asking me to create a review video about this microphone, I'm going to be reviewing the Fafine T669 in this video. Fine, it wasn't a million people, but it's you get the gist of it, right? So this is a around about 900 Rand mic and by the time that I bought it, it was 1200 Rand, but it has dropped in price tremendously ever since I've even seen some specials go to like 600 bucks. It's crazy. This microphone is a cardioid microphone and it uses USB, even though it doesn't look like it. That is technically a USB output that you can use on your computer. So it's literally plug and play, but there are some things you can do to make it sound just a little bit better. Out of the box, what do you actually get? Well, you do obviously get the carton box and in the box you get the microphone, you get a few accessories, you get the boom arm which you're seeing right here and I'm using for another microphone and you get the USB cable which is, well, it's pretty long. The only downside about the USB cable is the fact that it's just like a rubbery plastic type situation so it's not like a braided cable but that should be fine if you're just planning on, you know, routing it one specific way and not deciding on, you know, making it go all kinds of weird corners and stuff like that. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all the technical specifics of this microphone, so I'll just put it up on the screen right now. And when you have done reading through that, you can feel free to pause the video, by the way. We're going to jump straight into it and actually record with this microphone. Alright, this is a test with the Fafine T669. The mic itself is set on like 25% gain with the sound in the Microsoft settings set to about 50%. So that is kind of what you can expect from this. Now, if I turn up the gain, which is, by the way, kind of annoying, like there's like this whole thing in the middle which kind of like forces you to kind of wiggle your way into this set the gain. But if I turn this, all the way up to 100% you'll find that the sound gets a lot louder but there might be some sound introduced in the background like some static sound now while we are recording right now I'm gonna set the sound volume of the mic itself up from 50% to 60% to 70% to 80% to 90% and then all the way up to 100%. Now you'll find that this is obviously not great. It's gonna sound weird. So I'm gonna pull this down quite a bit. I found that the sweet spot of this mic is around about 70% volume in the Microsoft settings and then around about 60 to 70% gain on the microphone itself. You guys can have a kind of a clear understanding of how this would actually sound right now. Now, does the included I don't know, what, what do you call this? Like a noise cancellation, foam, whatever. How, like, does this actually do anything? One way to find out, right? Now, plunking this on, this is basically how it sounds with that noise filter or the like, I don't know, wind noise filter thing <laughs> on it. And I, I have found that it doesn't really change anything. The microphone is about 10 centimeters from my face. So it should pick up basically everything that I'm saying, keep in mind that this is the bass sound of the microphone itself. Like there's nothing special going on around here. Now what I would recommend you do is go and download Voice Meter. It is an application you can use with your microphones to change some of the sounds of the microphones itself. Now I have this set up with Voice Meter already. So I'm just gonna go in and change one setting, literally one setting, and you'll see the amazing amount of difference that it can make with the sound of this microphone. To round about a low range type situation, you can hear that the sound already, it's, it's so much better. Like it kind of makes that highs a little bit more clear while giving you somewhat of a baseline to work with. Now, if you want to further do anything on this sound, you can use a program like the free DaVinci Resolve and then edit it basically like this. Now with this equalizer, it's like a standard podcast type style where you cut off some of the low ends and then just balance it out on the rest of the equalizer. But as you can hear, it already makes somewhat of a difference and it gives you like a, 
a more clear sound coming from this microphone. Now, obviously comparing this to something like the Razer Siren Mini is kind of unfair. Siren Mini is around about 1,500 Rand, seeing as this is the Siren Mini V3, and the Fafine T669 with all the accessories like the boom arm and all the other extras are about 900 bucks. So the, the difference in quality is quite understandable, especially, you know, seeing as this is a streaming, a dedicated streaming microphone like Whereas this mic was more made for podcast type style videos and you know sounds. That is why you will find that the baseline on the Fafine would be much more than the baseline would be with the Razer Siren Mini V3. And when you compare it to something like the Dixon M630, you will also see that the M630 is kind of struggling with some of that higher note sounds, and the Fafine does do you know handle that quite a lot better now <laughs> overall thoughts about this mic for the price i would say i think personally there's some better mics you can buy for the price at least now at least you know when this released it was kind of insane because it was the cheapest like decent mic that you could find anywhere it doesn't even matter what like where you kind of search it it was the best one you could find literally anywhere but now with all the newer stuff releasing, even for finds newer mics releasing, I think that you would be able to get better results from the same price point. One that I would really recommend, however, would probably be the Fafine K651, which is uh, quite a bit newer than this one is. It's round about the same price point and it looks cooler for one. And I think it sounds just a little bit better. I haven't used it myself, but the reviews that I've checked on it is quite amazing. One other mic that I would recommend in kind of the same price point, just a squeegee little bit more expensive would be the Mayono PD200X. It is also a podcast style mic mic but I do think that it's gonna you know handle a lot of the sounds much better because the microphone itself inside of the Fafine is only facing the front and it's a cardioid pattern where the Mayonum is facing the top as any other you know podcast style microphone would be so it would fit just a little bit better being very close to your uh, voice and picking up all the actual bass lines whereas this one doesn't really do it that much of you know justice. Let me know what you guys think about the Fafine T669. Would you actually buy this and try it out yourself? You do get, you know, the boom arm and everything with it. Or do you think that it would be better to get something like the K651? If you guys would like me to review the Dixon M630, which is just a rebranded CoStar microphone, at the end of the day, let me know in the comment section down below. This is really cheap and actually delivers some interesting sounds for the price point. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed, like if you like this video, subscribe if you learned something new, maybe I saved you a few bucks, maybe I even made you dislike the mic even more, I, I, you never know. With all of that out of the way, if you want to see me unbox a headset coming all the way from Marvo, go watch this video on your screen right now. Peace out guys.